What is an angstrom? Have you ever wondered how scientists measure things that are incredibly tiny? One of the units they use is called an angstrom. So, what exactly is an angstrom? An angstrom is a unit of length that is used mainly in chemistry and physics. It measures extremely small distances. To give you an idea, one angstrom is equal to one ten billionth of a meter or 0.1 nanometers. This unit is named after a Swedish physicist named Anders Jonas Angstrom, who lived from 1814 to 1874. The symbol for angstrom is a unique letter, a ring, from the Scandinavian alphabet. In the world of chemistry, the angstrom is particularly handy for expressing the sizes of atoms and molecules. For example, the atomic radii of many elements fall within the range of one to two angstroms. This makes it easier for scientists to communicate about the size of these tiny particles. The angstrom is also used to measure the lengths of chemical bonds. When atoms come together to form molecules, the distances between them can be measured in angstroms. Additionally, this unit helps describe the arrangement of atoms in crystals, which is crucial for understanding material properties. You might be surprised to learn that the angstrom is also used in practical applications. For instance, it measures wavelengths of electromagnetic radiation, including visible light. The wavelengths of visible light range from about 4,000 to 7,000 angstroms. This means that when you see light, it is measured in angstroms. In the context of IUPAC standards in chemistry education, understanding units like the angstrom is essential. It helps students accurately describe and measure chemical phenomena. While the angstrom is not part of the international system of units, it is still widely used in specialized fields. In many cases, the nanometer has replaced it, but the angstrom remains popular for certain applications. Moreover, angstroms are used to describe the dimensions of integrated circuit parts and the thickness of films or oxide layers on surfaces. This shows how relevant this small unit is in technology and materials science. So, the next time you hear the term angstrom, you will know it represents a tiny measurement that plays a big role in understanding the microscopic world around us.